Okay, hi, I'm Sandra. I'm Catherine. And today we'll be talking about the basics of a control system. To start off with, what is a control system? A system is a set of processes that are interconnected, take an input, and generate an output. Translating that over to a control system, a control system is a system that's able to regulate the behavior of other subsystems in a robot and basically controls the robot. So what are some of the basic types of control systems? There's two big categories of control systems, closed loop and open loop. Open loop control systems have inputs that are not affected by the outputs whatsoever. So following the flow chart, there would be inputs, the set of processes in the system, and the output that results from the system. There's no connection between the output and the input. Closed loop control systems use signals from outputs to re-input values into a process. It goes through the same thing as an open loop system, but then uses a sensor or something of that sort to determine whether certain conditions are met and takes courses of actions uh, based on that by re-inputting the outputs from that back into the loop. Another set of categories would be passive and active systems. Passive control systems don't need an external power source to limit subsystem responses, while active systems use external power sources to adjust subsystems based on the response feedback. Passive control systems are cheaper and require less energy. However, they're simple and are unable to adapt to new conditions. Active control systems are the opposite. They are more complex and can adapt and self-regulate. However, they're more expensive and more energy demanding. So now what are some examples of passive and active control systems? An example of a passive control system includes insulation in a house. The input includes the temperature outside of the house and the output is the insulating abilities that allow for the house to maintain a constant temperature in relation to inner heating or cooling. An example of an active control system includes a refrigerator where the temperature of the interior of the refrigerator is controlled. The input is the refrigerator's temperature, and if the temperature dips below the refrigerator's set temperature, the system will provide more cooling, and the same can be said with an air conditioning system. In an open loop control system, uh, an example is a clothes washer. Um, it's told to go through a cycle, so the input is the chosen washing cycle, and then the output is the um, that you get your clothes washed. And for a closed loop control system, an example is a thermostat. So um, the input would be the house's current temperature, and then the output would be the desired temperature that you set it at. For following a high contrast line, um, passive systems are ineffective because the system would not be able to adapt or self-correct in order to account for what is in its current envi environment. For example, the passive system may detect a change in color of the ground, but wouldn't be able to change states to follow it. Active systems would be effective because the system would be able to account for a contrasting line. Then, due to the system's ability to self-correct and change states, it would be able to follow the line. These are our references, and thank you.